think we have to, uh, I think when elected officials are in office, people uh, expect of them to make decisions and hard decisions of to prioritize where the spending is. I've said all along that if education truly is our number one priority, why are we going to cut there the same way we're cutting in other areas? Let's try to, let's instead of using the sledgehammer, let's use the scalpel and try to be uh, a little more precise in where we're going to take the cuts and really look at this. Well, education, K through 12, makes up one third of mm -hmm. state spending. Mm -hmm. Its share of that 577 million is 243 million. Yes. If you want to save education, where are you going to cut? Somebody's going to get hurt. Where will you make that cut of 243 million? And let me, let me, because it is such a big piece, you're going to have to make some cuts. It's just you do 9% across the board or you do a little less in some areas, a little more in other areas. And I think that's, that's where we have to look in and they have to go in and really look at where we can uh, cut more in other areas so that we can save more for education. And again, the primary issue here, and, it's, and I think it's why it's important for someone to come in, in from the outside, is to change the way that we're running our government now. To promote private sector job growth and also to reset the size of government uh, because right now the path we're on is, as we're seeing, is unsustainable. But if you reset the size of government, aren't you going to have to roll back education even more when it's already suffering? We're going to have to reset the size in, in a lot of different areas, not just uh, not looking at ed education, but look at some of the structural costs. Um, and structural costs such as where uh, PERS and other areas. We're going to have to look at uh, where we've had wasteful spending, where, uh, for example, Betsy was, uh, when it was first put into place, was a $12 million, $10 million uh, a budget uh, process that has ended up being $900 million. And now that's been cut back, but we have to stop doing uh, things like that. We have to, and we really have to look at where we want government, what, what government's roles are, is, and focus how we're going to be able to uh, uh, provide those services. A lot of people